Today I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration on how to use the live paint feature available in Illustrator. I'm running Illustrator CS5. Now what I have on my artboard here is an illustration that I had originally done by hand. I scanned it in using Photoshop and converted it into a uh, vector drawing using the live trace feature which I demonstrated in my last tutorial. Now I'd like to color this in. Now in previous versions of Illustrator you would have to manually come in and draw shapes uh, in the colors that you wanted to fill in different portions of your drawing. And now we have a tool called Live Paint. I've pulled my Live Paint palette out right here. You can also grab it from about the middle of your toolbar right here. And what it'll allow you to do is fill in various portions of your drawing similar to how old, old paint worked on Windows if you remember that. So what you do first is you select your drawing and when you mouse over it with the live paint bucket you get a dialog that says click to make a live paint group. So click on that because we do want to make it a live paint and as you see you mouse over and it gives you outlines showing you where you're going to be filling in with your paint bucket. Now what you're going to do first is select your color. So I'm going to select this purple from my swatches menu and I'm going to start filling in. I want to make that panel purple and that panel purple and I also would like to make her bow tie purple. So K is the shortcut to get your paint bucket tool and let's fill that in and that in. And now you can see here we have a little bit of a problem. This is registering as one space from her bow tie to her arm. So the reason that that's happening is because we've got a gap right in here with these lines. So all you have to do is select that point and close that gap. Now if you select your paint bucket it's going to read that as a closed space. So let's get our purple again and fill that in. Now that's everything that I want purple. So let's go through and quickly fill this in. Give her some yellow hair and some gray sunglasses and let's color her skin make sure we get all of her feet there we go so we're making some pretty good progress uh, now I'd like to color her shoes dark gray let's get in a little closer it's hard to see that and now here I've got a problem. I'm not registering this shoe as a live paint area. So the reason that is happening is because I've got a big gap here. Now I did that on purpose just to demonstrate. I could do one of two things. I could select this point and close that, reshape my shoe, and then fill it in. Or what I can do is in Object Live Paint, I have a Gap Options menu. Now it'll detect gaps uh, at various sizes and that will tell the paint where to stop. You can pull down from here or you can do custom. Let's just do custom. We'll say 10. And it's still not, that gap is still too big. So let's come back in here. Oh, for some reason it didn't register. I thought 10 was going to work. There we are. Now we can fill it in. Now I do want to bring that point in because it looks a little weird being open. Now I've got one last panel on her dress that I need to color. And I'd actually like to color this with a polka dot fabric. So I've made a swatch. On my swatches menu I have a little polka dot. And you can use the live paint bucket to fill with patterns. So all you've got to do is select your pattern swatch and fill that in. Now the reason I'm having to fill all these separate spaces in is because I've got my gap set to such a wide space. So if you didn't want that you could change it back. Let's fill in these little spots here. And there we are. We've got a great colored uh, drawing that was pretty quick and easy to do. Now one other thing I'd like to show you is that you can color outlines or strokes using the live paint tool. So let's come into her face. Let's grab our tool here. And I don't need a fill. What I actually want is a dark gray outline. And I want to color her glasses dark gray on the outline. So you can see your icon is going to switch from a paint bucket to a paint brush. And you can see it's showing you you have the outline. So you just click on that, click on that, click on that, and click on that. And that was quickly colored. And let's give her some pink lips. And there we go. 
So you can see we quickly were able to color in our drawing using the live paint feature and it was uh, pretty quick and simple.